Good afternoon, everybody. It's Super Jack Sherwin here now. It's time for a DVD and Blu-ray update for today, May 1st, 2016, our first day of May. I got a total of three M's. I got one DVD and two Blu-rays. Uh, the DVD uh, is not Disney. Uh, also, one of the Blu-rays isn't Disney, but the other Blu-ray is Disney. Um, so, uh, some of these I got, two of these I got over spring break and one I actually got today. So, we'll do the DVD first. I got this back during spring break at Newbury Comics in Warwick, Rhode Island. Uh, this, I got this used, uh, sorry, and that is the Trudis Special Edition, the Complete Novel DVD of The Outsiders. Now, this is a great classic. And then, yeah, this is the Complete Novel Edition, because in 2005, uh, director S.E. Hinton's, uh, re uh, put in, it's almost like a director's cut, because, uh, 22 minutes of the movie was deleted, which had a bunch of, like, good and important parts of the book. So those scenes were cut. So many people didn't see it back when they saw it back in 1983. That's when the movie came out, of course. And so S.E. Hins had gotten a letter saying how fans were disappointed that, like, you know, not a lot of, uh, a lot of elements from the book were cut. So he put all the that 22 minutes of deleted footage back into the movie. So this is the complete novel version. Yeah, and this movie, this is what made a lot of celebrities real big stars, like Rob Lowe and Tom Cruise. Like, you know, they became really big stars on this. But anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. And the back. And, yeah, there's no critical room on the back, though. And because of how it was re... Because of the extent... It being the complete novel version, the film was recut... Uh, was uh, re-rated to a PG-13. Because um, when it came out, it was originally just PG, but because it had all that other content in it, it was re-rated PG-13. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Yeah, this is a great movie. This is one of my favorite movies ever. Let me open this. Give it up. See, we have an eco case right there. Here's disc one, which has the movie, in which you can see all the greasers, including uh, Pony Boy, uh, Dally, Johnny, uh, Soda Pop, Dairy, Tuba, and Steve. And here's just two with the bonus features, and it has all the socias. Still, this DVD of The Outsiders is very good indeed. So I recommend you get If you haven't seen The Outsiders, I definitely recommend it. Yes, this movie is based off the 1969 novel. Okay, now onto the Blu-rays. This Blu-ray I got the day after I got Outsiders. Now, this I actually got uh, for five bucks because uh, the, back on April 20th, uh, my dad, he works on a tugboat in New London, Connecticut. So I went to work with him that day while he was working on the boat there. And uh, I went into the little town there and I went to a pawn shop that they actually have there. And, I, and they had a bunch of Blu-rays for only five bucks. And I found this Blu-ray for five bucks. Pretty good deal. That is the unrated version unrated version blu-ray of the hangover so this includes new 100 photos from the missing camera and killer funny stay by peter travers or rolling stone now this is a very very funny movie if you and this includes the theatrical cut and the unrated cut the theatrical cut was the one that was shown in theaters back when the film came out back in 2009 and yes this is a very this is one of the funniest movies i've seen for those of you who don't know uh what the hangover is it's a movie about Four gay guys named Doug, Alan, Phil, and Stu. They go to Las Vegas because for uh, Doug's a uh, bachelor party because um, not really bachelor because Doug is getting married to Alan's sister. So then they have a drink that night. But then when the, uh, St Stu, Alan, and, and uh, Phil wake up the next morning and like you know they have no, they can't. Doug is somehow missing and they don't have any memory of w what happened. So they have to go. Th so they have to like you know look through, find out what everything that happened last night, and they also have to find Doug. Yeah, it, it's a very funny movie. I know one actor from the campaign, one of my favorite movies, is actually in this movie, that being Zach Galfangus. I think that's how you pronounce it. In the campaign, he played Marty Huggins. In uh, this movie, he played uh, this character, Alan. Yes, this is a very funny movie. I highly recommend it. Five bucks. And even a slipcover and everything. Here's the spine. In the back, it says, includes both theatrical and unrated versions and high def. Special features exclusive to Blu-ray, a picture-in-picture -picture comedy, a, uh, no, a commentary, which includes uh, the the three the four main actors. Exclusive features via BD Live, cursing mashup, uh, Iron Mike, and online teaser. Additional special features, more pictures from the missing camera, map of destruction, the madness of Ken Jeong, action mashup, three of best friends song, uh, the Dan Band, and a gag reel. Yeah. So if you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend it. The theatrical or the unrated version, any version is is still they're both good the same. 
I forgot this thing. Um, I, uh, Warner Brothers Blu-ray reward. Uh, here the disc. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which you could see. Uh, Phil, Doug, Alan, and Stu. And here's the digital copy, which uh, has those same characters. So if you haven't seen The Hangover, definitely, definitely recommend you see it. it it's a, it's really, really funny. I highly recommend it. All right, in the other Blu-ray, this Blu-ray I got today, A, at Walmart, in North Carolina, this is a Disney Blu-ray. I know you're finally glad. I pro I kept a promise that this would be in my next Blu-ray update, and it is. I kept a promise. Like, yep, I got The Good Dinosaur. It says from... Uh, so, and uh, it says another Pixar gem that triumphs to save a Scott Mance of Access Hollywood. Yep. And it says from the creators of Inside Out. Yep. Now, this Blu ray actually came out way back on February 23rd. And this was released back on February 23rd. And I apologize for not getting it. It's just that, like, you know, it costs, like, really a lot of money. Like, at Walmart, it cost $25. And, um, yeah, but for uh, me, $25. Dollars and like you know, whenever I did get that money, uh, I did actually have three chances also to get. It, but when I had that money, I used it. Uh, the first time I had the money, I used it to buy the Blu-ray of the Peanuts movie. The second time, I used it to buy the Blu-ray of the Hunger Games: Mockingjay Part uh, Two. And the third time was uh, when I bought the Blu-ray of uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. But then when I earned enough money today, I uh, I uh, went to Walmart because today I just earned uh, enough money to get it. So. My dad gave me an extra ten dollar bill, so I quickly went to Walmart and bought a copy of it. And I'm glad I have this. Yes. I haven't seen this movie since I saw it in theater, so I probably will. I'll probably watch this Blu-ray later today. I might even watch it while I'm uploading this video. But yes, um, and so it's from the creators of Inside Out. And yep, this along with Inside Out marked the first time Pixar ever did two films in one year. Because uh, Inside Out, we know, was released back in June of 2015, uh, June 19th. And this movie came out in theaters on November 25th, 2015. Now, this movie, uh, this film had a really troubled production because this film is actually the reason why this actually, uh, Pixar did not do a film in 2014 because, believe it or not, this movie was actually supposed to come out before Inside Out, not after. It was supposed to come out before Inside Out. It was supposed to come out in theater in summer 2014. And the film was directed by, um, was going to be directed by, um, Bob Peterson, who's Pixar's storyboard artist. He was also the co-director of Up. He also did the voice of Ro Roz in Monsters, Inc. And also did the voice of Doug in Up. He was set to be the, the film's director. And it was supposed to be a little bit of a different story. They even had a different, like a completely different cast. However, then around, like, you know... And then, like, you know, after Spring Jazz, after this film, Inside Out was supposed to come out after this movie. But then wh what happened was... Um, Bob Peterson then had trouble getting the third act right, so he left production and moved on to a different project. So, and they even had some finished animation. So, because of that, in August and September 2013, uh, the film's release date was moved from was moved from uh, uh, summer 2014 to November 25th, 2015. That was when Finding Dory was supposed to come out. Of course, then that was delayed also to give Finding Dory some more time, in which we, for those of you who don't know, Finding Dory is coming out June 17th. I'll definitely be seeing that opening weekend. Um, uh, so also, and because of that, uh, in, uh, 2014, Peter So was named the new director, and they made some alterations, like, the cast was completely different, like, uh, the father there was originally voiced by John Lithgow, but then he was replaced by, replaced by another actor, I forgot what his name was, and they also changed the, uh, the age of the main character, the good dinosaur character, it's, uh, this character here, his name is, uh, Arlo, and in, when they first, uh, started the story, his character was about 17 years old, but in the finished version, in, in, movie that was released uh his character was changed and so here he's about like 11 so yeah it was a completely troubled production and i know this film it got good reviews for the most part i know uh critics actually enjoyed it I know audiences were not really pleased with it like so many people say it wasn't one of pixar's best films but it was still pretty good but uh for me uh uh, I thought it was one of Pixar's best films, but it was still pretty good. I remember I saw this film in theaters with my best friend Luke at the Showcase Cinema's movie theater in Warwick, Rhode Island, like we did on Inside Out. We saw it three days after Thanks, uh, two days after Thanksgiving, as well as three days after its release date, back on November twenty eighth, two thousand six, two thousand fifteen. And I, I enjoyed the movie. It's probably one of my least favorite. I think it's probably my fourth least favorite Pixar movie. Although I, it's not like least favorite. Like I hated it. I did not hate this movie. I really liked it because uh, the only Pixar movie I, I like that's my 
Uh, my least favorite Pixar movie is Brave, as we all know. And that's, like, the only least favorite Pixar movie, like, you know, that I actually did not like. My second least favorite Pixar movie would be the first Cars, but I did like that. And my third least favorite is Wall-E. And then it would go to this. But with the exception of Brave, all the Pixar films are amazing. I really liked them. But anyways, you can see here's the spine in the back. And it says, funny, fun, funny, and especially adventurous day by Marcus Allen of CBS. For bonus features, we got The Filmmaker's Journey, Hide and Seek, True Lo Truth Lies About Dinosaurs, Recycle Horus, uh, um, Every Part of the Dinosaur, Follow the T-Rex Trail, Glee Scenes with Intros, and more. And also has the short Sanjay's Super Team, which was shown in theaters before this film. I remember that, that short film was, it was a very, very interesting short film. I know, I heard that short film actually scared a couple people. I, haven't, I, I need to rewatch that short film. I, it didn't really freak me out, I just thought it was very interesting to say the least. But I'm sure you all are happy I now have this. But yeah, because of how this film was tr production was like, that's why Pixar did not do a film in summer 14. Because like this film was supposed to come out before Inside Out, but due to its production, it ended up coming after Inside Out. And Pixar, after this film, we got uh, a few sequels. Uh, like you know, uh, next month, June 17th is when Finding Dory is coming out. And then after that, we got uh, in summer 2017, we got uh, Cars. Uh, Three and then actually in November two thousand seventeen they, we get we got a different Pixar film it's called Coco it's going to be directed by Lee Unkrich who was the director of Toy Story three and then after that we got uh in summer twenty eighteen we got uh Toy Story four and then I believe after that summer twenty nineteen we got uh The Incredibles two I'm pretty sure that that's what comes after Toy Story four anyway we got this digital copy uh, uh Disney Movie Rewards and digital copy code I haven't entered the coding yet but I will soon uh. Here, here are the disc. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which you can see Arlo and Spot. And here's the DVD, which has the same characters. I'm surprised this isn't a two-disc Blu-ray set. Right, like, you know, two Blu-ray discs and then the DVD. I'm surprised. Unfortunately, though, um, this is Pix this is currently Pixar's lowest grossing film to date. Because this film only made 343.3 million... No, 348. .3 three million dollars at the box office worldwide probably because it was released in such a huge competition most notably uh it was released especially with anime because it was released just a few weeks after uh the peanuts movie although i don't think that's what really competition uh really uh was a, com a competition with because like you know this film outgrossed the peanuts movie but i think mostly because it opened five days after the hunger games mocking j part two was released and it also Open just a few weeks before Star Wars: The Force Awakens was released, so I think that's why it it, really, it it was their lowest grossing film. But it was still an enjoyable movie. I can't wait to watch this movie again. Here we go. That's my DVD and Blu-ray update for today, May first, two thousand sixteen. I will see you all for my next video coming soon.